Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes. Welcome back to the next tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to plant uh, uh, objects on your terrain, like trees and grass and some stones and whatever you want. Um, you can do this by switching to the objects tab uh, at, uh, at the top here and there you can see that you can place trees, uh, you can place uh, details, uh, detail meshes and just any kind of other meshes in form of prefabs or just game objects, whatever you want. Let's start with some trees. So let's say this is now my terrain. I will go uh, fly into this location. It's a good viewpoint. Now let's see if we can find some nice trees. I'm going to use the speed tree ones, especially the desktop tree package, and here the Alaska cheddar. So, just drag and drop your trees in here, where you want to use them. And let's start adjusting a little bit. Um, um, almost the same things that you have in texturing uh, are, are also available uh, in the tree settings here. You can enable or disable trees, um, um, so they're not generated or, or are generated and, pl and are placed over the terrain. Um, you can drag and drop speed tree or, or just unity trees. Um, you can set up the tree settings. You can change the trees at any time if you just uh, drag and drop it down here. You can see the tree has changed now. Um, you can set up a bounding radius, telling uh, world creators that you don't want these trees to be placed inside each other, or you don't want to have uh, other objects placed inside trees, or maybe trees inside other objects. So just uh, set up your bounding radius as you want. And now let's check the distribution settings for the trees. Here you have multiple options. You can do, for example, uh, just quickly copy the settings of the grass texture. Then you have, uh, then you would have the, uh, the, the the trees placed over over the terrain where the grass texture is applied. Here, you can see that the grass texture has now uh, between zero and zero point six, and it runs slope uh, slope like this one here. So if you start now the generation process for all trees, you can see the trees has been set down where the where only grass actually is. Um, now we could uh, adju further adjust uh, these things also. I will just do it quickly. The generate button. There we go with the trees. Now we have trees where, where it is all about green on the terrain. We'll just keep it and don't change it uh, a lot more. Um, you could do the same with the trees, for example, applying a specific mask. Um, so you have more variations or you just want to have a specific region in your terrain being uh, uh, being placed a specific tree type. This is quite impressive or more useful if you're using to create a uh, terrain that has multiple terrain types in it, like these, uh, like these terrain masks here. So saying um, different biomes. Now let's add some um, other objects like uh, some stones maybe. in these scanned rocks, really nice th things. I'm going to use I've prepared them because the others don't have LOD stuff, so this one th these ones have LOD. And want these also just place where grass is. And just place a few of them here. And also set up the bonding radius so they don't overlap each other. Uh, let's see have been placed. Yeah, there we are. And you can see that the stones are not placed into each other and they have a specific distance from the trees now. So this is assured. Uh, you will never find a tree inside a stone or a stone inside a tree. Looks pretty nice now. You can of course change the height scale for each stone and all the other stuff here like uh, whatever the, the, the rotation between a specific range so many many things you can do. The same for uh, for the masking system here. It's exactly the same than for the trees. It also applies for the detail meshes, and for details, the details could be used for um, for some grass placement. Quickly show you. Let's place some some place uh, some some grass here, and only at a specific height again, a specific slope maybe. Just want to show you a quick introduction. So now we have only grass placed where you have set up your distribution settings. So that's it. 
really really easy really fast you can add more grass here making it look looking more fancier but uh, you can see that this one was now done within just a few seconds actually um, hope you enjoyed it there are many more uh, possibilities and uh, watch out for further videos thanks a lot bye bye